Well, how was that first day of class today? <clears throat> uh, I gave you for homework a periodic table worksheet. Now, if you only knew how to get some answers to that question. Well, that's not the page I want. We'll go up one. The first question you were asked was to summarize the periodic trends that occur when you go either left to right or up and down for the atomic radius, the ionization energy, and the electronegativity. Then number two says, make sure you could tell me what atomic radius is, ionization energy, and electronegativity. Would be good to have that. Well, how could you find out about the periodic trends? Well, I gave you some notes. And, if I can grab it, the notes all about subatomic particles, if we continue down onto page two, we get the periodic table. We're probably pretty close there. And you get to another section here on page three, in-depth periodic trends. Hold the fort. So periodic trends, atomic radius. This is the measurement of the size of an atom. That'll be important for something here. And uh, as you move, here's some trends. As you move from left to right across the period, the atomic radius of an element decreases. This is because the energy of the valence electron is roughly the same. <clears throat> because each period represents an energy level, but the nucleus gains more protons. This causes the electrons to be pulled more closely towards the nucleus. As you move from top to bottom, down a group, the atomic radius increases because you're adding new energy levels. Okay, so there's answers to that. And ionization energy you're going to have as you move from left to right. And you're going to have as you move higher to lower in a group. So you've got the answer. And same for electronegativity. So there's your hint to find that. It was just provided in the notes for you. Now, we go back to... Me. Uh, and also we have now our answers for, or you can give me a description of what 1, 2, and 3 are. Now, that being said, let's take a look at the table that you had to fill in. This had a lot of uh, review for you to look at. Now, uh, what I've given here for A, high quality ores in Great Bear Lake, uh, the element name is, ra is radium and you have to fill in the rest of it. So we'll take a look at the periodic table and uh, try and find radium. And the periodic table's right here, searching around for radium, and we see it down here, number 88. A little bit out of alignment there. So 88 is the atomic number for radium, and it is in group 2, it's in the second column, and it's in period whoops, 7. Well, I can't hit that, my board's out of alignment. So group 2, period 7, and the atomic number is 88. So we go to atomic number, 88. Element symbol is our A. The group number was 2. That's the column. The period was period 7. Now, here's the big question that students have. What is the SATP state? Well, a lot of these are solids, especially the metals. Most of them are solids, but there are some notable exceptions. Now, some of our exceptions, it's nice when you have a colored periodic table, because in this one you can kind of see what's on the screen. The ones that are red are um, gases. So we have over here nitrogen, oxygen, fluorine, neon, chlorine, argon, krypton, xenon, radon. Okay, of course, our good friend hydrogen and helium, in case you want to talk like a chipmunk, those are your gases. Any of the ones that are in black, now, your, of course, your photocopy, I understand, doesn't have it in colors because I'm too cheap, but the uh, all the ones in black are solids. So the black ones would be solids. And your blue ones are liquids. So there are a few of them that are liquids at SATP. Okay, so now you're dealing with, um, you've got the state, whether it's solid, liquid, or gas, at standard ambient temperature and pressure. So let's take a look now at our answer, the filling in the SATP state. Most of them are going to be solid unless they were uh, one of your gases, like nitrogen, oxygen, fluorine, chlorine, bromine, the ones I pointed out, or the blue ones that were on the table as well. 
install. There's a few exceptions that are there. The cover of the textbooks that you don't have would have those colors in them as well. So if I was to just pick another example out of here, uh, let's take a look at F, radiation source for cancer treatment. We want to go to group number nine and look at period number four. So group number nine, we have here, period number four is there. We're dealing with cobalt. Group nine, period four. Cobalt, and that's element 27. So we pop back. This is cobalt. Cobalt is number 27. Oops. That's cobalt. We need the word there. Symbol here. Solid. Okay, and it's just that simple as you fill those in. Uh, we'll continue the rest of them in class, but hopefully that helps you answer some of those questions. Good luck with the rest of it.